Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called It's About Time and these are all uh, songs that use times in the title. Uh, last week we looked at 25 or 6 to 4 by Chicago, as well as a recent favorite 3.59 a.m. by John Moreland. Next we're going to look at 5.19 by Matt Wirtz. So 5.19 tells the story of someone whose girlfriend at the time told him in a conversation that she needed some space from him. He says this in the first verse, July came, I thought I had it all together till you said you needed space. Whether in denial or due to the vagueness of needing space as opposed to just breaking up with someone, it's making his head spin at 519. Matt said in an interview that uh, he was talking to a friend about what was going on and his friend was taking notes. As they chatted, uh, he looked at the clock and said, it's 519 and I'm feeling alone. And that became not only a line in the song, but the defining line of the chorus. For some reason, I've always interpreted this as 519 PM rather than the aforementioned insomnia in previous songs. But the vagueness again does wonders for the song, even though the aforementioned anecdote backs up my thinking. It's really a song about waiting and the anxiety behind it, despite insisting that he's cool with waiting for her to call him back. He also described it as a don't call me, I'll call you uh, situation, and uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. Usually I think of that with jobs, but uh, you know, it works with relationships, I suppose, too. Uh, as a quick side note, I do want to point out that uh, because of the way that my mind works, 519 is what I've dubbed Matt Wirtz Day, uh, in addition to uh, Steely Dan Day, which is May 19. Do want to shout out Matt Wirtz for getting a kick out of it on social media one year and responding to my post. That was really, really cool. Uh, still no word on Donald Fagan, though. He hasn't uh, gotten back to me uh, on uh, May 19th, but, you know, one day hopefully it'll come. Uh, so melodically, the song is written in uh, C-sharp minor, and the intro uses the chords C-sharp minor 7, B-A-E, and C-sharp minor 7, which is a 1-7-7-6-3-1-7 seven, seven, seven pattern. While the chorus uses uh, that same pattern from before that I just mentioned, as well as B, A, C sharp minor 7, B, A, E, C sharp minor 7, F sharp minor, A, F sharp minor, and B, which is the 7 chord, the 6 chord, the 1 7 chord, the 7, the uh, 6, the 3, the 1 7, the 4, the 6, the 4, and uh, the 7. Instrumentally, the song contains only acoustic guitar in the verses, with light percussion and electric lead guitar coming in during the chorus. The electric guitar is also heard between the first verse and the second verse, as well as uh, during the second verse in the bridge, along with the acoustic. Structurally, the song uses a verse-chorus, verse-chorus, bridge-chorus format. For those of you who know my songwriting style, I tend to stay away from the a cappella or mellow choruses coming out of the bridge. However, with this song, it works really well. There is a desperation in his voice during the bridge that wasn't there during the rest of the song, even though he's saying, take all the time you need, right? So it's a calm line, but he sings it uh, with a very intense voice. It works really well uh, because uh, it's a kind of uh, hopeful, mellow song. Uh, so having uh, the chorus come out of the bridge and it's a little bit calmer, uh, then, you know, you have one final verse that amps up with uh, his vocals a little bit. Uh, you know, that just works incredibly well for this song. It gives it the right kick, so it doesn't feel monotonous, but it also flows very well. Uh, with one eye on the clock and one on the phone, you can listen to 519 below. Uh, you can also listen on your computer. I really don't care. It doesn't have to be on your phone. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it either way. 
I, I do want to shout out uh, my friend Pat Gavin too because he uh, actually put this song on a mix for me when I was in high school and I just loved it immediately. Um, so uh, shout out to you Pat, thank you for the music and now I'm passing it on to the rest of y'all. I'm Minnesota Mike, thank you so much. Make sure you check out all my other vlogs as well as the blog that I do for the Memphis Songwriters Association, which these vlogs are based on. That uh, blog can be found on MSA's website. Thank you so much.